Thank you. Tonight, there's growing concern for drivers after a man was shot along I-59 this weekend. Birmingham police tell us someone was shooting at cars totally at random. CBS 42 News reporter Michael Clark is live right now where it happened. And Michael, police still don't know where the suspect is? No, Birmingham police initially said that a suspect in a dark colored vehicle may have been involved, but tonight investigators say there are no new updates to pass along, leaving some drivers fearful for their safety. Meanwhile, family friends of Saturday's victim tell me he's making substantial progress on his road to recovery. Along heavily traveled I-59 this weekend, police say shots that were reported as random hit two vehicles and injured one man driving with his wife. That's insane. Just drive on the interstate and can't even drive peacefully. Neighbors who drive on the interstate around the Tallapoosa Street exit surprised to hear about the shooting. Police say gunfire was reported between the airport and Tallapoosa Street. I have to think about my safety all the time, but on the interstate, that's a little bit over the top. It's just craziness. It's scary, to be honest. A GoFundMe page for shooting victim Marcus Malden is being shared across social media. Family friends tell me he is talking after the injury. His wife, who was with him in the car, posted late Monday that Malden was able to walk and has been removed from the NICU. His two children weren't in the car during the shooting. That hurts even worse with those young children, you know, to know that he could have been gone and for no choice of his own, but somebody else's bad choices. Malden's family members write on his GoFundMe page that though this was a random act of violence, they're asking for intentional love, prayers, and support. I hope that person be okay and all my prayers go up. Meanwhile, drivers say the shooting will have them paying extra attention, even behind the wheel on the interstate. 2018, you have to look around all your surroundings, even if you at church, anywhere. So, I mean, it's really ridiculous though this words. It's crazy right now. Yeah. Now again tonight, Birmingham police haven't been able to release much other than it may have been a suspect in a dark colored vehicle. If you know anything about this weekend's incident, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers. For now reporting live in Birmingham, Michael Clark, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.